to our reporter Desen Tatia because Guazul Natal MEC Guazim Shengu is of course today visiting the Mangosutu University of Technology following the violent clashes we saw yesterday between the students and the police of course burning of tires, debris blocking the institution's main entrance, one student being arrested during those clashes. Now management saying that they have met with the SRC which was not part of yesterday's protest to give its assurance that some of the issues will be addressed. Do we do know that classes remain suspended at the moment. So back to Desen Tati, of course, just to give us an update. And he joins us again from Imlazi. So Desen, have we heard anything as to what's happening? What, how's the meeting gone? Well, Marina, in fact, your time is, timing is impeccable because the MEC for Education in Kosovo Natal is uh, just here to the left of me. In fact, I just want to try and bring him into the conversation now. Uh, sorry, MEC, if I could just trouble you. You are live on ENCA, but let, let's take you a little closer to uh, the other colleagues because I think they also want to, to get an update from you. So I think first and foremost, can we just start with uh, what was the nature of this engagement that, we, that we've seen? after the protest of yesterday? Well, we are here on behalf of the provincial government, uh, mandated by the Premier to try and come here to find a way of mediating between all the stakeholders uh, involved. Uh, we are doing this in all um, campuses that are experiencing difficulties in the province of Kwasul Natal. You will have realized that in the past we dealt with UKZ and matters. Here now we are here at Mangosutu. We are also planning the same session with the UT because uh, it is in the interest of the provincial government that uh, they stability in the province of Kwasul Natal across the sectors. So when there are disruptions and instabilities in high learning institutions, they also affect uh, the work of the provincial government. So that is why we are here to meet with the management, the student, as well as the representatives of the unions, uh, because the issues directly between those three parties, there are issues that relate to labor and there are issues that uh, relate to students. So let's separate the two for a second, MEC. So uh, let's park the issue of uh, labor and we'll come back to it. But the issue of the students and what we saw here yesterday, some of the demands that they have made, you know that they say that they don't want the academic program to resume for as long as they can't register for free and as long as there is historic debt. So on that front, what progress have you made? Well, we have agreed on a, on a small committee uh, that will be composed of uh, student representatives, those from the management and the office of the premier to really try and thresh out the issues that are uh, in dispute. And in our view, they are not really difficult issues to resolve because students are really say, complaining about uh, uh, the non-clearance of a number of students. They are saying about nine. All right, it looks like our picture there has frozen. Apologies for that. Desantati, of course, speaking to Guazim Shengu just after the meeting that had taken place between himself and the management at Mangosutu University of Technology. Of course, just ironing out what it is exactly that they spoke about and confirming that he is there upon the order of the Premier Sikhe Zigalala just to essentially hear everybody's uh, complaints, everybody's grievances, and try and find a middle ground. Of course, as you would have heard Desantati saying on in his previous crossing, that his job will most likely be. This is Wazim Shemu, the MEC of Education. His job will most likely be just to mediate the situation and try and get everybody down to common ground. So we'll be trying to get back there and hear what it is exactly that the MEC had said more to Desen. But for now, coming